So what do we need to identify the state of stress in the Earth? We need three principal stresses in three directions. We know SV is a principal stress. It's always pointed straight down. It's also the easiest one to estimate and or measure. Right? We can measure it from density logs if we drill a well. But even in the absence of that, we can do a pretty good job estimating what it is because you know, we can do a, we can pretty, do a pretty good job of estimating what the density of rock is. We can do a great job estimating what the density of water is. Right? And therefore, we can often estimate what S vertical is pretty well. So then there's it's an orthogonal coordinate system. So there's two other principal stresses. We'll, we'll call them SH max and SH min. So I'm using the terminology of Zoback here, or, or the, at least the, uh, not the terminology, but the, the notation. So, so SH max is a capital H. There. So that's the maximum horizontal. So we know the other two, if, if SV is down, the other two are in the plane, right? They're in the horizon. So we call them horizontal principal stresses. SH max is the greater one. SH min is the smaller one. Okay. And so we need all we need to know is one horizontal principal direction. Right? Because they're orthogonal, we, we know that the vertical stress is down. If we can figure out which way just one of the two horizontal ones are, then we can identify all three of them. Whatever the direction of the one you find is, you take the cross product of that with down, you know, and that would give you the other direction because you have an orthogonal system. This is usually, right, usually the one we, we figure out is the direction associated with SH max. And that's because the easiest, one of the easiest techniques to measure the direction is to hydraulically fracture the rock diagnostically. Right? So not I'm, not I'm not talking about from you know, trying to stimulate it for production, but there's something called a, a DFIT, a diagnostic fracture injection test, where during the process of drilling, you actually run a test. You purposely hydraulically fracture the rock, and then from that, you can infer not just the direction, but also um, uh, the magnitude of SH max. So with these four things, we can basically put together the whole picture of the stress because we we know the three principal directions, and um, you know with we we know the magnitude of the vertical stress, and then we can usually measure SH max or I'm sorry, measure SH min, right? Because you, you hydraulically fracture the rock and it, it's perpendicular to SH min, right? So what, you know, the, the equilibrium pressure in a hydraulic fracture or the, or the initiation pressure that initiates the rock, the fracture of the rock is close to SH min. I said close to SH min. We'll, we'll look at some DFIT actual experimental curves and we'll talk about you know, how you exactly choose the value of SH min.